so good morning everyone uh, so we are back with a new video on my channel this time a photography based one and I was thinking about this video for a while and how to actually reform it um, so well simply put um, as you saw probably and if, if you haven't you should start by there I have this strobe the new revision 4 it's a battery operated strobe um, and I was using speed lights for most of my work so I when I first started using on, on paid gigs this strobe here I was kind of on the doubt of what modifiers to use and the consequences to use them so uh, I have done some experiments and I know more or less how to move around my modifiers but I would like to share the knowledge I got from my experience uh, by what basically it's what is the consequence of using each and every one of the modifiers I have in terms of the exposure so in simple terms how many stops of light we lo lose uh, depending on the modifier we are actually using on each situation so once again this is a totally unscripted video I'm going around going, going through as things pop in my mind some people like it some people don't so whatever so one thing I'm I'm going to use this light meter so it's a Seikonic Flashmate L308S let's see if my camera can actually cooperate and focus on this let's see yeah it's focused enough so it's if you want I may, may do a video on this one maybe I won't because this are, has been already done on YouTube but well, why not so this is was really cheap on eBay it was an auction I got it for really cheap if you have been seeing my channel uh, you know I like to spend not come on camera focus I like to spend just the exact amount of money I would like to spend on, on an item so this one here was um, as expensive as I wanted to, to to be so I really enjoyed this one here and well stop rambling so I'm going to set this for my flash explosion so uh, so in this light meter I'm going to see if it focuses I'm going to set this to one to fifth of a fiftieth of a second because I believe that's the most common flash sync speed of most cameras one to hundred one to fiftieth whatever and I'm going to set this to flash so if you see here let's see if my camera focuses cooperate please thank you cooperate and I'm going to hit my exposure and I'm going to flash it with the flash and see what readings do I get and I also set this to ISO 100 okay so I'm going to power on my flash here and I'm going to set this to max power okay so it's set to max power now so I'm going to point it on, on this direction and I'm going to fire a test shot just with the standard uh, modifier the reflector nothing in front and let's see and I'm going to put this on this length of the modifier somewhere something like it then I'm going to set this BAM Woo! okay so as expected um, I'm getting F19 because it's too much too much power at this distance but you will see um, the difference by having a simple modifier how much light you're going to use so F90 it's our reference so now I'm going to um, put the simple shower cap and let's see what difference does this make same distance let's blast this so see just a simple shower cap to smooth the light uh, a little bit I get F45 so a simple thing it almost cuts things in half and bear in mind that the further I move my flash mirror the more difference it will, it will make if you know the inverse square law but I'm keeping this as constant as my arm length or my forearm length to the modifier so a simple shower cap I went to f90 to f45 see we lost quite a quite a bit amount of light 
uh, just by using a simple shower cap. Next, the one probably one of the most common modifiers um, we use on photography, which is the umbrella here. Let's see if I have enough space to do this here. <coughs> okay, here I am. So let's try this one more. So some roughly the same distance. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so now I get an F54. Okay, so let's see. Okay, F54. So have not lost. We have lost less light than with the shower cap, but we have a bigger light source. So this will just make it smoother. So if I had my subject here, sometimes you can you want to put it right next to light source to get a big to get the least amount of light lost. So here I had to cut the power obviously on my strobe, it's just too strong. And as you can see, so this didn't cut as much power as the shower cap. So the shower cap cuts more power than the actual umbrella. So next, in line, I'm going to put a standard reflector, but with a 50 degree grid. So I have, so it's a similar modifier as the first, so it's a standard reflector. But in this case, it's going to have a 50 degree grid. Um, so if you remember correctly, the standard reflector only was F90. Uh, so any guesses? Let's see. F90, okay. No surprises here. The only thing that the grid that here is focusing the light straight on to the, um, to the subject, in this case, the light meter. So no surprises, no light lost because it's just something to focus the light through. Very useful. If you went to, one of the most useful thing I, had, I bought was, and they are really cheap, really, really cheap. It was one of these with different grades. This is a 50 degree grid, I have more. It was really cheap. Next on inline, it's going to be my, probably my favorite modifier for this strobe, it's the beauty dish so i have a 50 degree grid here i want to remove it okay so now i have the beauty dish only with this reflector here there's nothing in front i'm going to add this okay so same distance just a beauty dish no no nothing to soften the light just the beauty dish itself so if you remember, my reference is F90. Let's just try again. F38. Woo. F38. So it got uh, quite a bit of light here. So I went from F90 to F38 with no nothing to soften. Okay. So a really big light source, soft round light. So next, um, okay. I'm going to add the shower cap. Now the beauty dish only with the shower cap. Same distance. F38. Okay. So I have I'm not losing that much light or any light at all. Let's try again. Yep, F38. So nice soft light. Roughly the same amount of light, but better softer and better quality light. Next. So this is kind of my favorite go-to, so beauty dish, shower cap. So now I just added my grid, I just saw earlier. So that's, and no shower cap, shower cap is here, let's see. F32, let's try again. F32, so it's consistent. So I have lost a bit of light here. But now I have with the grid, it's not more concentrated, it's just a straight beam, it doesn't get as much spill or none sp any spill at all. Now for the shower cap and the grid. So that's any predictions. So we went from F32, I would say we're going to lose a little bit, but let's see. So now 9.5, okay. Now you're home, you are almost, or we are getting usable uh, light at max power 
if the, our subject is somewhere in our arm's length. Okay, so F9.5, so see? So the mix of the grid and the shower cap made us lose a lot of light. Okay, but we have a focused beam on the subject. So depending on the situation, my favorite combination is the booty dish without the grid, but with the, with the shower cap which gives me the usually results I'd actually prefer to, to, to use on a commercial work. So let's put this on to see the inverse square on working. So I'm going to make a test exactly at, at arm's length. So F11, it was a little close this time. Uh, now I'm going to try to double the distance, okay? So something, this is not very scientific, but F8, see? So as, as we move further from the subject, F11, F8, so let's try roughly another arm's length, roughly, F5-6, see, now I'm F5-6, F3 arm's length, so as we can see we're going to consistently lose more light, which means if the subject was far away from the light source, you need to remove some modifiers to get more light into to reach the subject, or get stronger lights or more powerful strobes. So, I don't have any other modifiers here, so um, but I hope this will demonstrate how much light we use depending on the modifier we're actually using, or if you are using a combination of modifiers on our um, light, on our light source, and that will cause lights, uh, light to get lost depending of the modifier we are using and the amount of modifiers we are combining. So if you're using a beauty dish with the grid and the shower cap, you're going to lose a bunch of light, okay? So, just to wrap up, so I have the grid, let me put this back, I have the grid and the shower cap, one arm of length, roughly, okay? And I am, I am at F11. If I remove the modifier altogether, and now I have a bare bulb, arm's length, F64, F64, so as you can see we went from 9.5 to F64 to bare light, so depending on the power of the strobe, if you put modifiers in front you're going to, you will lose light, that's a, a, a kind of um, something you need to expect and account on, so as you can see, we went from 9.5 to 64, and let's just put back our gridded arm's length, roughly, F90. See, this is really, really consistent. So a bare bulb, even a bare bulb, it's going to lose light. Then you have this standard modifier here. This is going to concentrate all the light through there, because with a bare bulb, light is going to spill to the sides, which makes sense. So let me show you the bare bulb. So this is what the bare bulb looks like. So everything is spilling out to the sides. So if you put the standard deflector, light is going to go through to your subject. It's going to, going to be really, really concentrated to the subject. Let's you get F90 with a standard head, F64 with the bare bulb. So you can use this to your favor or you can use this information to make better pictures and actually modify your light and model the light to your liking and to get the results you actually expect to get from your pictures. Okay, so if you want to know my favorite setup, it's the beauty dish without the grid and only with my shower cap on. And this is going, usually this is going to be my main light, and I have a few flashlights, a few um, handheld flashlights. Um, flash, um, so what are they called? The speed lights. So I have a few speed lights here, really cheap, but once again, so this is going to be my main light to fill the light, to fill the subject with light. Then I'm going to use my speed lights to kind of the light on the head, on the hair, or or it depends on the results a client wants or the result I want personally okay so i hope this video was useful so you can see the lights fall off depending on the modifiers you use 
and the further you move away from the light the more light you're going to use and it's going not going to be half of the light it's going to be more than that and that's is called the inverse square law so you're not going to if you move one meter to two meters you're going to you're not going to lose half the light it's going to be more than that so it's called inverse square law if you want me to do a video about it i can i will i can or you can just search youtube and uh, there are some videos explaining that so i hope you enjoyed this and i see you next time